Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike for Mobox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this brilliant effect of some sort of black hole or something light bending around a particular point in space. Now, this effect is built in After Effects, but it was something I didn't know, and it's something you probably didn't know either. So again, this is an After Effects, so we'll go ahead and open up After Effects. A 10 second composition looks good to me, 60 frames a second as always. And we'll go ahead and name this to Tutorial 4. Now, initially I'm actually gonna build the space background and I'm gonna speed it up, but I'm just creating a layer here and uh, we'll pick back up after I create the background space. All right, we're back. So now that the background is created, if you wanna know more about how to actually create this background, I might make a tutorial for that. I'm actually just gonna pre-comp these layers together by selecting them all and hitting Control Shift C, and I'm gonna name it Background. What that does is again, it creates a composition inside of a composition. Now what I did here was I created a circle with the circle tool and I'm going to make it black. So this will be the event horizon of the black hole. Essentially the light cannot escape this point. So I'm going to scale it down by hitting the S key and then scaling it down. And then I'm going to line it into the center of the composition just to give myself a really easy reference point. So I'm actually going to go to the effects tool and search for flow. Now, I'm not sure what the full name of it is, but I just know that if you type in flow, there is, oh, it's CC flow motion. I'm gonna drag that and put that on the background layer. So what this essentially allows you to do is put points on a composition and distort it a certain amount. So what I did here was I created a keyframe by pressing the little timer um, at not one, and I put it in the far left corner. So that will be the starting point of the black hole. I'm gonna scroll to the end of the composition and Actually, I messed up the keyframes here. Let me do that again. Create a keyframe in the beginning by pressing the stopwatch. So that created it at the lower left. And then I'm gonna also put a point in the top right. So essentially what this does is it will scroll the black hole across the screen. Now I'm gonna go into the amount and I'm just gonna drag it up. And essentially what this does is it is it determines how the distortion is. You could distort it all the way positive and it makes it kind of like a wormhole effect. That's not really what we're looking for. So we're actually gonna scroll it negative. And I found that like negative nine or negative five looks good. Um, and it, and it, goes, it gives a good black hole effect. So you see here that the circle, the black event horizon doesn't actually follow the black hole. And so we're gonna wanna make it so the black hole and the event horizon follow the same path. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the event horizon and I'm gonna click P on the key, I'm gonna click P on the keyboard, I'm sorry, and now I have a keyframe in the beginning. I'm just gonna copy the not keyframe and paste it onto the position. So essentially all I did there was copy the position from the uh, distortion effect and pasted it onto the black hole at both the beginning and the end. So what this effect will do essentially is it'll make it so they follow the same path across the screen. So it gives it the effect that the event horizon and the black hole are the same. Now you could after uh, mess with the amount if you would like um, and kind of determine what the best is for you. Now you're gonna wanna adjust it a little bit just because the event horizon and the black hole kind of have to be like proportional in a certain way. If the event horizon is too small, it looks funny. And if the distortion is too small, then that also looks funny. But anyways, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'm just gonna render this out. And uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below as, as well as check out my main channel where all of these effects are utilized in actual videos. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and give this video a like. Anyways, thanks for watching.